Alright, we are back. <laughs> um, I tried to go over in... Well, let's start over. I'm Crystal, I started out, and I was on earlier, and we were doing some arting, and I'm working on getting some things cut out. That's just what I'm working on. I um, went over to do it on the room in... Oh, on Facebook, you know, you're supposed to be able to use their rooms. They don't have lives now. They're called rooms. Well, I used it once and it worked fine, but this this time I tried to and it would not work. So, we brought it back over here and said, let's do it. I don't know how much I'll actually cut All right on, on here. We'll see what happens. I kind of like the other... I kind of like how the room worked because it was really... It was like... Hmm. I don't know, it was just easier. It seemed to flow. So. But it can't flow if it can't work, so here we are! <laughs> um, I can't see you, unfortunately, but at least you can see me, I guess. Woohoo! Anyways, if anybody wants to know, these are Dilusions collage sheet sips. Um, first one I already cut, and the second one I'm almost done. And you, and why? Because I want to use this stuff. I have so many cool papery items that I want to use. So I think part of the reason I'm not is because if they're not cut, I'm not using them. So, hint me cutting today. I'm still working on trying to figure out what I'm going to do with, um, I think I'll bring you out a little bit more if you can really see, guys, what I'm going to do with all of my stuff, because not just, you know, these that I got to, ooh, I just belched, excuse me, is it just these I got to figure out how to store, um, it's, I got all kinds of other things, uh, so, Yay! I'm thinking I'm probably going with the clear pack, the clear there. Either the clear packets, like that envelope, big thing, envelope thing, or um, the flat kind of baskety things that I stack them in. I don't like using that one though because I'm mean, Jesus. I'm gonna have so many, so many. I don't know. Tell me how do you use and store your? It's not storing. I don't want to store. I want. Well, I want it in things, but where I can use it. So tell me how do you use your stuff? Store it. A lot of them said they use it and um, like. <clears throat> Like sheets like this, which work good for certain things. Um, and yeah, I guess I could have put those each sheet in there, but I don't want that because I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm using that for my tissue paper. Look, guys, my white tissue paper. My tissue paper is where I'm putting that um, because that way I can look through them. They like to stick together. But I don't know what to do with the paper items. I've seen it's funny. I swear I have ESPN or something because every time I start something and then by the time I put it out there, it's like everybody else out there decided to talk about it or do something about it and it's just really weird. I kind of get tired of it, truthfully. Um, <laughs> I'm weird like that. It's like... Mm. I don't know, um, but I ain't gonna put all these in little, you know, I think in, I'm thinking the, the flat things will work, but I don't know. Tell me how you do yours. I will actually get all of mine together as soon as we get done doing, cutting these things apart <laughs> and organizing these. I think I kind of know I'm gonna put like faces and body shapes. Well, smalls, I got the smalls because you know she cuts. She has small things and big things. So smalls are gonna go all to one side. The circles are gonna join my circles. And um, the rest of those will go like for either back 
backgroundy or focal. That's kind of how I'm going to go with those, I think. To separate them. Mm. I know a lot of people um, separate, store their art um, in colors. By colors? That wouldn't work for me. Because when I want something, I don't know what I want. It's not a color I'm wanting, but that's just me. So, anywho. You know, my, um, I w do want to, my stencils, um, if you recall, at the beginning of last year, I started working on getting some of my other stuff together, and I've got my die cuts in a binder, you know, with the, with, with the, the plastic sheets. I've got my stickers that is for art and stuff like in plastic sheets with the die cuts. Um, I have a few different things on there, but I don't have my stencils. And I just, mm, I don't want, think that would work for me for stenciling. So I was thinking about doing is putting them in a, kind of how they still are, but kind of, um, maybe putting a tab up for what, like where's my animals at, or here's my circles, here's my faces, something like that. That's what I, I think I'm gonna, how I'm gonna organize. I should say how I would like to organize. It doesn't mean I will organize them like that, guys. Don't, don't, uh, I talk a lot. I try a lot. I try my best to do with the things I say, but it doesn't mean it always is. Oh, not very interesting, is it? <laughs> Don't mind me. I am taking my meds. I sort of figured that freaking Facebook thing wouldn't work when I wanted it to. Bastards. I am, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am stressed. Um, a hubby is on social security, you know. He, um, We'll just say we, he was making, I was making some side money, um, and it's how, you know, it got me to be able to go to the doctor once in a while, even though I had to pay full price. Um, anyways, uh, his work has become very shady to the point of the, um, most of, most of the, the, uh, people quit. Um, and aren't actually t turning them into a uh, federal government. So it's bad, you know, some bad shit going down there. Um, but the point is, we will be losing... Uh, it will just be... Uh, I don't know. It's just going to be the Social Security money, and I don't... Uh, my hubby's like, well, I figured out all the bills, and we'll have 300 left for the two or three. 300 left, and that's for the family money, so the household money. Okay. Does, did you take out money for gas for the vehicles? No, that's got to come out of that 300. Okay. So all household items I need. Tish, trash, trash. Mm, you ladies know any household item. Laundry detergents, you know, da 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 da. Monthly, along with dog food, da 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 da. Right? Um. <laughs> it's gonna be more than three hundred dollars a month. So, yeah, I'm not excited. Not excited. So you have yours. You have clip heart and containers. I am purchasing it in a round robin type of thing. <laughs> we will try the room again, Joan. Don't worry, we will. I'm going to kind of look into it and see maybe the troubleshooting a little bit. So, most definitely, we will we will get to the room again. I'm just not in the right mind to. If I messed with it more, I probably would have ripped off my monitor over here. <laughs> I don't do good with uh, <laughs> technology. So, yeah, so that's what I was kind of thinking. Going with... 
Um, I'm not going to do this. Like I said, I found these. Joan. I don't remember if you watched. Of course, I got paint over it. Yay, me. Um, I got this at... But, um, well, that's dry. Nice thing is, these, these are plastic. Um, at... Shit, help me out. Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And it can be pretty fat. So I think that's what I'm going to do for like this. Um, these... But I don't know if I can, because uh, I like to sort, uh, but I'm, I'm going to be doing the category, what works for me. I see, what I have a bunch of are, and I've showed them to you guys before, and I have a bunch. I have like, what, one, two, three, four, five, like six more down there. And I was using these for like projects, like I'd put like a project I was working in, and then I'd use another project I was working on. So I'm thinking... This would be better for me, like, paper-wise, because, see, I can get them out, look, find what I want, and I could label on the front. So, I'm thinking probably uh, maybe a both, a little bit of both. And you can't beat the price. You know, those little things at uh, Dollar Tree are a, uh, well, those flat things are a dollar, and those are a dollar. I, could, I found this at Dollar Tree, too. A little, um cutting mat I got a big one but I would you know I use some of the little books this will be great to kind of just shove in to be able to cut so I'm excited it's a, a book it's my kind of my kind of pot <laughs> so yeah definitely we'll we'll look into that again on the room I should have known better it works so easy it looked works so so quick you know so quick <laughs> Oh, man. I also want to categorize this one thing I still have to do. I did to my stickers um, before my... <laughs> I want to categorize my um, stamps. The stamps. So, And that's cool about the Red Robin. That's cool. I, like I said, I want to... How about doing like a... Getting the medium box or whatever it is. I think it's like... It's under 20 bucks to send anywhere in the United States. Fill it up with some stuff. And um, see if anybody wants to join. And then, you know, send it around. Oh. And then that's making me mad, too. Because now we're going to be a short of, shorter of fun. I'm not, I'm not complaining, guys. I just need to get off my chest. Shorter on funds now. So that means I'm not going to be able to... I don't know what I'm going to... Just how it is. I, I try thing. Mm -mm, I gotta go. Yeah. It's hard on life whenever and you, you everybody. I say this and everybody be like, well, it, that's not true. You're just feeling sorry for you. Or you're over exaggerating. But the thing is, I'm not over exaggerating. Anytime I I look forward to like this year with the art, I was gonna do tons of giveaways. I was gotten. I was getting things ready and a few other things and boom that is gonna happen so that's why I don't look forward to nothing guys my life has taught me never to look forward to anything because anytime I ever did it didn't go as planned usually I got shit on or hurt <laughs> but I try to look at the positive every day and it's so hard to look forward to positive and get motivated if you don't look forward to stuff, though, you know, let's catch 22s. Look forward to stuff in life, but when every time it goes to hell, my, it's my maiden name, I'm not going to say because, you know, how everybody, you know, what's your mother's maiden name, da 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 da. I'll just say it's, it's a dead blank curse, is what we call it. <laughs> Uh, and I know there's people out there that also have the very bad luck. If you had no luck at all, you know, bad luck's the only luck you have. So I know we're not the only ones that are having to see that. God damn. Ugh, it's depressing. Depressing. To think about that. So, let's move it on, move it on, move it on. I figure if I can't. Ugh. We'll come up with some stuff. Um, 
And, I, and I, I don't want him knowing that we're not, we're, you know, this is the last weekend of us getting that little extra money. And he's going to spend it on my birthday. And I'm like, oh, that's bugged me. You know, <laughs> I'm tickled to death about what I wanted. But then it's bugged me because it's like, well, with what's going to happen, you know, who knows what's going to happen. We should probably keep that money, you know. But then, just then, you got to think, you know what? You only live once. You never know what tomorrow will bring and enjoy it as it comes. So that's what we do. We try to. Unfortunately, no. Um, I would Bentley, I, I'm pretty his caregiver. Um, and actually, my husband needs my help too a lot of times. So, unfortunately, right now, and if I do get a job, usually. I end up losing it really quickly because <laughs> my anxieties and things come very quickly. So I can't make it to work because I'll like get literally deathly sick with my shit and I end up losing my... My husband really wants me to apply to Social Security um, because I, I can't. <laughs> I can't hold a job. Mm -hmm and part-timers anymore around here for part-times like 35 hours and that's that's re oh that's almost that's almost full time <laughs> so we'll figure it out we always do but i just i just ugh, why don't i as i know my husband's getting really irritated at me about me not getting it in um well i made a mess guys look at that I got blue all over me um because it's hard I know I talked to you guys about it, and, and that was very, it was a big step for me to really talk to people about, about my, me, and depression, and things like that. But when I actually have to talk, uh, really get into where I'm feeling, what I'm dealing with, all that, uh, it literally feels like I have to, I'm going through it again, just speaking about it. It is so hard, so rough, so stressful on my body, mind, everything. So it's got me like going, I don't want to because I don't want to. Um, I know I'm going to have to. Maybe not. Maybe I'll luck out and not have to and I'll just find something that'll work. But it's it's just it's stressful and i don't want to do it and i know i'm gonna have to put my big girl undies on and deal with all of that heartache and blah but we'll get there so. oh. um bentley i in Kansas, Missouri, the area I live in, getting money for your, your own disabled kids is kind of hard. Um, we haven't been successful yet, so. And I, we can't really get him on Social Security because <laughs> Bentley is actually my grandson but we've raised him um because he was born with she was we're not gonna go in there we'll just say we raised him from the beginning so we're mom and dad and but we haven't we haven't adopted him. we have nothing besides court order papers saying that he's in our care um but for security and things like that that's not good enough so we have to do that. So another weird thing we got to take care of. So, yep.
And with all of this information, I thought this one will probably be probably I'll probably delete it afterwards. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't want to get too too. I'll talk about my, you know, but probably we'll see. Anyways, so yeah, constant battle, fun, fun, good times. That means he's gonna be around more, guys. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, my husband is very much my, my happy battery. Um, and when he, my battery's not happy, I can't be happy. I'm serious, guys. I am like, I'm an emotional vampire. I suck energy. I, and people's energies affect me. I've worn, I will, my hubby's on my ass, Joan, I know. <laughs> um... Darn it, what was I saying? I don't know. I need I need insurance is what I need. You know, it sucks to go pay a hundred bucks to go in to visit my doctor just to be able to get pills, but I need something else. She won't give it to me until I go see her and then no. Well, no, no, here we go again. No fun, no fun. I was just gonna get my I was just gonna get new glasses too. Oh, I love life. Life is great. Life is grand. It's best to get it out, though, ladies and gents, because if you don't get it out and you keep it in, it'll just sit there and fucking... It'll just faster. <laughs> and I'm not upset or mad or anything with my husband. I, he, I'm very... Um, he's very proud. I'm happy, but that's not... Yep, bleh. See how many you guys are on here. Oh, there's only three of you listening to me go on Lumi, so that's good. <laughs> but let's talk about something else. Oh my goodness. You know, guys, it was, what was it today? It was, yesterday was like in the 20s, 25, end of 25, 24. Tomorrow is gonna, supposed to be 50 degrees. What the heck is up with this weather? It is crazy. I don't, it's getting, wow. I think global warming is going to kick our butts. You know, you know. Mm -mm. Mm. There we go. So I'm hoping Mini Mission of Happiness doing this, it, it gives me, yes, heart art next month, yes it is, and I'm gonna, I need it, god damn, I am doing a heart art, I'm doing an art, <laughs> I'm doing a heart it, making a heart every day, like I said before, I wanted to make this size, but it's just not big enough, so I need to find, maybe I got a bigger one down there, I don't know. I need to cut out 28, and every day I'm going to decorate one and put a message on the back um, of love and encouragement and beauty. So I'm going to leave them out into public places, and I'm going to mail a few of them out to maybe a few ladies that I think maybe needs a little heart moment. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not doing a journal. I'm actually making them to send and give out. So I'll, like when I go to a Walmart, maybe pick up our prescriptions, I'll sit one down somewhere. Or somebody can pick up and look at the back. So that's what that. And I'm still doing Mini Mission of Happiness. Oh, that's totally different. Your heart should, don't have to take long unless you're going to make a big gigantic thing. And you don't need to. I can see you could do it. Is anybody else having problems finding calendars? Literally month calendars. I haven't been able to find any calendars. None of, nobody has them unless you go to the specialty stores and pay like 20 bucks for them and I can't do that for our stinking calendar before somebody says um, uh, print off one I don't have the color and all that for that shit either <laughs> unfortunately oh. <laughs> aren't these images cool but I don't use them I'm using this stuff this year, guys. Come on, we can do it. 
And she's actually got two more sets out. Yeah. Do any of you lovelies read a lot? That's my if I'm my escape for um, if it's not arcing, it's my first escape for from depression. I'll say it, it was an escape. It wasn't helping. It was escape was reading because I could do I could get in that book and while I'm reading, nothing else is going on in my head. All right, I see Joan. I'm confused about the MMOH. Are they daily prompts? No. Many mission of happinesses are, um, there's actually, hun, if you look, I have on one of, I have lists, aren't they called lists? And it has a list of, uh, many mission of happinesses, but it's just every Monday, the prompt, like, it's just a, it's a weekly prompt, just a weekly prompt, and you do it something small. So, like, the first one, I think, smile, I can't remember, um, but if you, I don't, if you go back and watch those, I have a series, the series of them, I have them all together, kind of watch the first one and, and see how it goes and how, it, and what it's kind of about, it'll answer all your questions on kind of what it means. Now it's just once, once a month, or Mondays is when I put the mini mission of happiness out. I put the quote, I'll put the props though actual up, but I really do encourage you guys if you've never done the mini mission of happiness to watch the video when I post it on Mondays because where it might say something but I'm taking it in a way different way it's all about smiling and happiness guys so keep that in mind when you see maybe the prompt and going what <laughs> I will go into it more mm -hmm. or you can be that person that just does exactly whatever that word is but we're more into feeling and things that make you happy and smiling. Because when you smile, you literally, you literally make, you put off chemicals that make you more happy. So. I read Supernatural. All the way, Kim Harrison, um, Annette Bennett. Oh, that well, she's actually a series, not a <laughs> character. <laughs> I know more of the characters than I do the books. Oh. I only actually recently, oh my god, this last year, at the beginning of last, well, this time last year, it was, I actually recently started reading like books that wasn't in paper um yeah it took that long <sighs> i prefer my books i do i do i prefer my books um, i'm on ink it to read on there and they got some pretty good ones at least it doesn't cost me a fortune Oh, looks like my stuff's skimming. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Joan. You don't have to, huh? <laughs> just try to find... It's just crazy. And I even asked, um, like, a couple of the cashiers at the different places. And they're like, no, we haven't had them since... Um, November, some maybe at the beginning of December, and there wasn't that many, so they sold out. I'm like, okay. Must be one of those things that, uh, some reasons probably in, uh, off the shore in a, <laughs> in a storage thing. <laughs> I will say something. I normally cutting really hurts my fingers and hands. It does, 
But I will say I'm super happy that I spent the money last week or week before. If you're thinking about buying these, if you have a pair of the little ones and you're like, do I really need the big ones? Yes, yes you do. Because I have been, you see all this guys. And my hands, you know, aren't that sore. And I just go, 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 go. I'm loving them. And this isn't, I don't even think these are the biggest ones. They have another set. That's even bigger. I don't, didn't need those, but. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, I like hers. They're easy to cut out. They're not like super little pieces shooting off. Uh, I like it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with smalls, people, people parts, <laughs> and then. Um, Backgrounds and then, oh, though. That's pretty much what her pieces are. I'm not cutting so much around um, if there's like legs or things that's sticking out because I don't want them to get caught and ripped. So, I always cut them more later. Of course, and what happens, I wake up earlier. My husband's like, why don't you go to bed earlier with me? Because I wake up earlier, and I don't like waking up in the mornings, guys. I, I don't like morning. Don't like morning. Nope. At all. Not at all. I will say, as I've gotten older, it only took me, uh, let's be honest, 40 years to not be a uh, bitch in the morning when I wake up. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, where is it? Oh my goodness. in the rooms as long as we can get them working is if somebody's that you know somebody can be on there to ha and they want to be on just open a room and make sure it's open for all members and there we go oh. we shall see Yes, yeah, fussy cutting, right? Or cutting, cutting, cutting. These are the little bitty ones. And, uh, those little ones are pain. Those aren't too bad. So, one pieces. Oh, are they fun? <laughs> Oh, hey, Janice. Um, these are... Let me get them here. They're uh, Dilusions. Let me stand up for I can see that you're seeing it. They're Dilusion claw sheets. I mean, this, there's two... Well, she's actually got four sets out now, but I have the first two. And they come in the papers, and they're really cool. Um, the paper is pretty good. It's not super thick, but it's not thin either. And I've had them, these two for now, like going on two years, so I'm trying to get them cut out for I can use them. That's the goal of this one. Mm -hmm. I 
I know you can find them. Um, a lot of the smaller store, like Scrapbook and uh, whatever has them, but I know Amazon does carry some of um, the Dilution stuff. So, I have to look on there to see if I find them and put it down below. And they weren't too pricey either. I think it was like 15 <clears throat> That was forever ago, so who knows now? I know they're under 20 a piece, though, for sure. And you get quite a bit in them. <laughs> yeah, she's great. I love it. <clears throat> when I really got into uh, art journaling, I had her colors, you know. I really liked um, her coloring. The co Her paints made me just go, oh. I loved them. Um, the problem was with how big wide mouth they are. I would love to if I actually had um, the money. I would get all of her paints again. Um, I might have one or two around here still. But I love the Dilutions paints. They're great. I also love um, Dana Wakely Media. Now her um, stencils and um, Stamps are more my style um, than dilutions, even though I have some of hers, but I have a tendency to use my other ones more than those. So, anywho, she's great, they're great. Um, yeah. Fun time. Uh, she's great. I loved her her sprays when they first came out. I love, love, love them. They sprayed. I was so excited and so happy. But they, the sprayer on them, shit crap on them eventually. And that, to get into them, I have to open them. They hurt. It's just too much of a mess. Her paints are great, too. I'm, I, I don't hate her paints or anything. They're good paints. There's a few colors of hers that are just die for. But Miss uh, Dylan's are super bright. She kind of what she, you know, I always was a player of arting, you know. I arted as a kid, you know. I, I oh, look at the color, she, your mom, here's a page I made you. You know, I did that. And then, of course, we get to that age where we don't do that anymore. We don't make pictures for our parents anymore, you know, or whatnot. Well, then I started crafting, you know, to get some of that, that creativity out. And me and my mother, um, we did everything from, God, I remember everything from wood burning to embossing to, um, refrigerator magnets of some type and some other type of this and something else. And we did a lot of, just a lot of different whatever crafts, doing, doing, making our own shirts and Anywho, um, I had come across, no, I started, I told myself I wanted to do this. I wanted to, I, you know, I heard of Archer. I wanted to do it. So I started on my own, just started doing my thing. And then I started seeing a few, um, uh, one of them was uh, her, one of her videos. And I seen it. I think it was introducing something and I just loved the coloring so that was that was a seller for me I had to get her I had to get her her paints they were beautiful and from there on um what other one really got me in it, into it was actually um journaling by fives uh, I was just, I started that when that first started out and that broke me into a lot of other things and then I did other other artists um prompts and things and what then I got to a point where I was it was yeah it's a prompt I've done that before you know I don't know I just kind of fell out of it and um, did it did our own group even when we first started this group five years ago I was still doing a lot of people's uh, at the point I think I was doing 10 different art 
thing a day, art prompts or art things. Oh yeah, I was busy, busy. Um, and that was with in the process of raising Bentley um, with his, you know, autism and extreme hyperactivity and oh yeah, all those good things he is super about. Pretty sure if I wasn't art, and I probably would have ran away from uh, my household situation. To be honest with you, with everything I was dealing with personally, or, um, with family, you know, and then, yeah. So, and even though I know art does me really well, I still have those days my husband pretty much has to. Well, yes, yeah, big my ass before not getting in there and doing it um, because it's important. I feel worse the next day if I didn't sit down and do something. It is so much fun. Any type of creating is fun, guys. Give me one second, guys. My nose is so clogged. I'm gonna grab the uh, Benadryl and I'll blow my nose. I am like, I am really close. I'm excited. Ooh. So yeah, and I w I like um. Her bottles, the bottles they put these in, because they're great for a little, like, little details on things. Price of them, though, I'm a little, like, eh. If I recall, they weren't, I don't know, they're so small, you know, the amount you get, it's like, what? A little bitty, a little bit. I don't want to cut the little bitty, bitty stuff. It looks like all small stuff. Yeah, well, that one can be cut. See, little pieces. So, I cut all the bigger ones of those. Um, I'm not going to cut. I'm not in the mood for that. And look, guys, I cut. I've got to get me a sleeve, which we're supposed to, to go up to here when I put wood in because I've burnt myself. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. The wood stove does not like me either, so... It's become a my it's became a nemesis of mine also. Just so you know. <laughs> oh shit. What should our first Is that chain? What should our first um Yeah, not give away. <laughs> swap. What should our first swap be, guys? In the group. Actually, I already know one's coming up. It's going to be, and I forgot to put this. So one of the prompts coming up will be taking that. So never mind. I'm going to just finagle on that. <laughs> I forgot I had something else coming up for that. Mmm, what should it do, boys and girls? Okay. Oh, yeah, cooking. Oh, I, d I wish. Uh, bacon has always been a horror of mine. I think every mother that cooks bacon knows this. But, okay, let's in here now. Did you all know...
Well, I, I'll, I'll answer your question in a minute, uh, Becca. Dang it, no, I lost my... Oh. I wish I would have known, because you guys know I had <clears throat> four small children at a time. You know, there's four kids, me and get the six of us. There's now seven, but the older ones are gone, we, you know. You know how much bacon they go through, you, as you with large children. Oh, my gosh. You know how many burns I got with that oil? You know how I do it now, guys? He did put your oven on. I think it tells you 375. I can't remember. Put it on your baking sheet. It bakes in there for like eight minutes. That's it. It's done. You didn't get burnt. You pull it off. Put some... Oh! Who? Why did I not know that you could put bacon in an oven? I would like to slap my mom because she never did it. So, that's why I didn't know to do it. <laughs> Has anybody else ever heard about cooking baking in the oven? Okay, hi, Becca, Buffalo. Oh, um, I'm cutting. I'm working on a, um, this year. I'm like getting all my paper, you know, my paper and ephemera and getting it together for me to use. And I had the two collage packets and I haven't been really using them. So I've been wanting to cut them up. Well, I dislike cutting so bad. So when you dislike doing things, bring people along with you, and you never know. It could, might make something that sucks a little happier. So we're just kind of sitting here talking. I'm doing this. I don't know what everybody else is doing out there. Don't know. But I'm doing this to try to... These are little ones. We're going to put those... For me to use all this goodies, <laughs> hopefully up this year, <laughs> it's my hope. Or at least use a good some amount. Heck, if I just start using them, I'd be great. I'd be so excited. So. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I gotta get my, probably, what is today? Today's Friday. So tomorrow, I need to get, I might do it on the live just because it's what it's for. It's my art session. Um, I need to do, cut out the hearts that I'm going to do for my, the heart art. So, oh, I get those ones in here that shows weird things. What are those people called? Trolls, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's dilutions are yeah. See, I actually have I made when the oh let me see if I got it over there guys. I might have stuck it upstairs. I hope not. Where'd it go? Might be over there too. I made a dilution journal and they were all first started doing stuff online, you know, when everybody had to cancel their stuff. So it was that not last year, year before in the twenties, one of twenties, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, she made a little like uh I followed along and made a little I will find it because it's gonna be perfect. It's actually in one of my baskets down there, I guarantee it because I wanna finish it. So with the little herb ones, I'm not gonna fussy fussy, I'm gonna just go around them. They will get fussy cut when I'm ready to use them. Last chance of the pieces cut it getting hurt if you do that way. I, I like the black paper journal. I got the square, her original square black journal. I love it. Um, she's the only black journal I've used. I know I've seen a few others. I really like the black square journal. Um, so, uh, it's a thumbs up for me. I've used it. Still have it. Almost done with it, though. So. I think she's got smaller ones now, though. Not just the big square one. Not a little one. That's a big one. Urgh, I'm putting that over there. So, I don't even know. Does she still even make the big square journal? Black journal? Or is it just the smaller one now that they do? Oh my 
goodness. Cold, cold, cold. I get cold, I get hot, I get cold. Yay, menopause. And having wood stove. <laughs> it kind of does both, really. I mean, you know how many, how many pins or how many Sharpies and stuff I ruin trying to do her, like all her black stuff, all her black marks on her, um, after I painted and stuff. It's great. Great, 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 great. But. And she was fun, and like I said, I love her quirky, her quirky, her quirky, her, just her art's weird and cool and unusual, and I love that. Um, but I felt myself more towards, drawn towards Miss Weekly. Um, more abstracty, and uh, for a long time. So, I had to run with both, and I'm still with, still, still like certain things about both of them, so. Product-wise, anyways. Excuse me. I did do a five-minute jump start earlier on here. It was alive. It ended up being longer than five because I got inspired. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I will say I've had a problem with using these on like they're really cool but they're her paint styles and stuff so when I go to use it in my art journals that I don't have her paints anymore um, sometimes I kind of I don't know I just I don't like it it kind of doesn't go together as much in my head so that's something I got to get over using these things up Where do you live? Whom are you referring to, Rebecca? I live in Kansas. I'm right on the edge of Kansas, Missouri. I'm kind of in between. There's Kansas City, then there's St. Joe, and then if you go in the kind of middle and then go way out that way, there I am. <laughs> Anybody else want to answer that? I'll be more, more the merrier here. More the merrier. Oh, I don't want to do these are the little ones, little, 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 little. Cut that. I didn't think I would ever do this. Do you understand me? I did not think I would ever actually sit here and cut all this, these out. Not once. I was like, no, that's never going to get done. <laughs> and the thing is, <laughs> I'm going to get the two new packets for my birthday. <laughs> oh, I'll have to cut more. Oh, wow. Alright, no, did I get these? No, I didn't get these. No, I didn't. See, I take that back. Or do I die? I can't remember. Which is nothing new. That's a problem for me. Kentucky. Beautiful, beautiful.
I, girl, I don't know how far Kentucky is from me. Probably isn't. It's probably like four or five hours or something. Of course, to some, that's a lot. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. I've been to Kentucky once. I mean, drew through it, going to a well, family vacation. Like I said, this is our five years, so we're doing good things. It's making me accountable. I need to be accountable to something because I'm hoping that'll help me with my depression this year. Look forward to it. Be accountable. And for some reason, I can't do it for myself. But if I do it like for like my members and you guys, I can do it. But for myself, I've never been able to do it for myself. I don't really think. a problem anyways. And the pieces. Yeah. So there. Yeah. Oh my god. Missouri's on be on Kansas, so it'd be like here's Kansas, here's your Missouri. I'm like right here, and your Mississippi's over here. So I, and Missouri, oh my God, Missouri's a really big long state. I've driven through it before. I did not realize that. And Missouri's actually is. <laughs> Get you a drink, girl. A drink, a smoke, a pill, um, whatever medicine gets your anxiety um, to go away. Shut your eyes. Hit your at the top of your head. I, don't, I I picture it like as an eye opening up and at the bottom of my feet. So your chakras. Pull in the good energy, peaceful energy at the top. Have it suck through your body and picture it flowing through to the uh, soil out your feet, back into the ground. A good meditation one I used before. Dun, dun, dun. I I uh, I was doing real. I'm take I take a lot. I take pills from obviously my doctor, but I also take some naturals. Well, some things from across the way. My doctor knows I take them. Um, it's called Stressify, Mood, da, 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 Black Cohosh, you know, just all kinds of things they take for different, you know, reasons. Black Cohosh is for the hot flashes, but. Oh my god, girl, if you just lost your hun husband, I'm sure nothing is going to, um, get you through that right now, hon. I am, uh, my, my heart goes out to you, hon. My heart goes out to you. I hope you have some type of family or friend that can hold you and just be there with you in your time. I can't imagine. And I, I don't know. I don't want to. Because <laughs> that will get me going. I'm so sorry to hear that, hon.
See, I knew our 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 members in this group. We all, God damn, ladies, you're killing me, poor babies. I remember, I think Re uh, Rebecca, I think you you and me chatted about that on Messenger. So I I did remember you, but uh, ladies, I'm just uh, my heart's to you guys. you guys can't imagine what is one thing you guys used to do as a kid Okay, kid, teenager, whatever, you know. Um, one thing that if you could, right now, today, you could do, and you, it didn't matter if you're fat, old, you got the hip, or whatever. Um, if somebody said you could do it, what would you, what would that one thing do that you just love to do? What would that one thing do? I'd love to know. Yeah, it, it's not gonna. It, it, Time does heal, but time's a fickle bitch, and it, it can take forever for it to heal. Unfortunately. So, my question when I was out there. What, if you could, right now, <laughs> what would you do? An activity, whatever, whatever it was that you did when you were younger, teenager, whatever, that just made you happy. What would you do if you could do it right now? For me. And I've been thinking about it, and I, if it, the old crystal was in me, was still here, I, I would have probably already be on here with broken arms and legs. What I would love to do, to know that I would get no re repercussions, you know, I couldn't get hurt from it, would be roller skate. I love to used to go roller skating. Yeah, you know, just so freeing. Just, just, oh, I loved it. Isn't that funny? That's one thing I wish I could do. And I'm sure I probably could go out there. You know, I've lost, I've lost all, almost all, all, I lost all the weight from me sm quitting smoking and all that. Um. I'm still doing with that. So I block I'm that's better, but man, with everything else I hurt. Oh my god, I, I think if I fell, it'd be the end of me. <laughs> but to do that, oh that would be so fun. I have no repercussions of getting hurt. Heck yeah. There's a love. We had a motor uh, rink um the town not too far. That's kind of what it's kind of what all the kids, all of us kids did. So, kind of what we did. Those are the bigger. Those are the little. I'm gonna have to go through all of them anyways. But hey. It does. Um, I I can imagine it hurts like hell, guys. I can imagine. Uh, I would probably say is just try to keep your mind occupied as much as you can. Try to keep going. is kind of how I deal with my depression so if I stop my mind will take over and yeah it ain't good Definitely, I like using the room because I can play music and not get in trouble.
I'm not just saying it. I was like, I lost all my thought processes. I'm a horrible person for chit chat. I've never been the person that could just go up to somebody and just start blah, 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 blah. Never have been. And then most of the time if somebody's like just staring at me and I'm not saying something, then I get really anxious. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. Oh. I will use them, yeah, in my art, in my art journals. Um, I'm hoping to probably use them specifically with a certain, you know, so. They'll be used in collage, maybe some, I might use, end up using some in cards, who knows, but yeah. It'll be using. Mm -hmm. Try to use museum and in collage. I really do enjoy the collage work. Um, when I did the collage only on the little journal, that was fun. So, try. It. I was hoping it'd make me more comfortable to do the bigger collage only, but. You just take it every, every day, huh? Every day. Every day. empty. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, guys. I thought I was going to finish, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> I don't want to cut those little bitty suckers out. Give me some bigger ones to cut out. There we go. Even though these are actually small compared to the big ones. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to finish up this one right here and probably call it a night, guys. decided if I'm going to use, well, I have been previous years done the Heart Art Challenge live. Um, I think one year I did it just in the group. One year, and last year I think I just did it in sharing wise in the uh, Instagram. So that's probably what I'll be doing is sharing. I'll share a picture in the group, but I'll probably do it on a live on Instagram um, just because we're doing, you know, mini match happens in the group, and I don't want them to be, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's be honest. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I want to thank you all, you ladies, um, for hanging out with me today. If you can, you can catch the five minute one on the live before this, because we did not get that, didn't stay on. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. If I don't he see, hear you, I should be on about the same time tomorrow on here for a live five minutes into who knows. So, uh, happiness to you, make a mess, and I will certainly be sitting and thinking of both of you, both you, Janice and Rebecca. Hugs and love, ladies. I get these, hey girl, these, get them at Hobby Lobby, and they get, they're on 40% off a lot of the time. That's how I get them. 40% off at Hobby Lobby. You just gotta keep, look on them. So, <laughs> alright? Bye, guys.